Jonathan is in Lexington, Kentucky. Hi, Jonathan. Welcome to the Ramsey Show. Hi, guys. I've heard about you all my life today, and I'm going to be the first person to actually do it. Okay. Cool. <laughs> so everyone's talking um, about it, and you want to be about it. Absolutely. Love it. Um, I'm trying to be as specific as possible in setting my goals. Um, I'm 25 years old, single, a homeowner. I make about 45k home uh, take home, and I next year I have the potential to make 103,000 uh, next year take home, uh, with about six or seven dollars an hour increase in scheduled within the next five years. Um, there are six goals I want to have done in that time: uh, 8k in debt, $12,000 emergency fund, start my 15% retirement. Um, I want a BBA in finance. It costs about 40k, but I'm pretty sure I can get that through work. And I also want to be in a $300,000 home paid off after selling my current one. And then somehow I'll find a wife between all of that debt-free. Um, I've been floating through life for the past seven years now, and I'm concerned I'm biting them off more than I can chew. Well, I love your drive, first of all. And it sounds like you're trying to make up for lost time. And I want to just encourage you to – you could slow down, focus. You're 25, not 75. You have a lot of life ahead of you. And all of those things can and will happen, but don't, you know, try to do it all at once. And so our baby steps are designed to have focused intensity one thing at a time, and that means having that $1,000 emergency fund, then getting out of all of your consumer debt, then the fully funded emergency fund. And you said you're already a homeowner, correct? Yeah. What's left on your mortgage? 72000 All right. What other debt do you have? Uh, a couple personal loans, a uh, credit card, and... I'll be visiting you on January 16th, and I'm going to do my plastectomy there. <laughs> Love it. Fun. So, Jonathan, you said you were um, floating before, and you're anything but floating now. You're dialed in, focused, and intense now. What was the change? Um, well, I had a couple of relationships fall through, and depression didn't really feel good about myself. Uh, I'm down like 36 pounds. I started losing weight and stuff, and I don't know. I'm just... Snowball's going, I guess. Okay, so the the answer to the broken relationships and the depression was to start controlling the controllables, and so you start taking care of your body. You're, uh, yeah, I mean, I was blessed to be you're active, and you've, days, so. you've uh, gotten some help or whatever, and have moved your way away from the depression, and now you're setting yourself on goals. That's awesome. Way to go. Thank you, Dave. So proud of you. That's a good move. Uh, it, it's, um, I mean, that's 180 degrees. You, you've, you've turned this whole thing around, and uh, uh, that's uh, a, a good thing. And then, you know, we don't want to ever put water on your fire. You're doing a great job. Uh, the only thing that George is saying that I would agree with is, is that uh, what I've always found, including our business goals here at Ramsey, uh, including product launches here, including um, building a, a, a building. Uh, nothing ever turns out exactly like you plan it. So just give yourself okay. some emotional margin that if it doesn't work exactly like it did on paper, then that doesn't mean you lost. And so, you know, if I set my goal to make a million dollars and I've never made a million dollars and I don't hit my goal and I make 800, oh, darn. You know, I mean, are, are you okay then? And so my point is, is the beauty of goals is not necessarily the uh, mechanical, legalistic achievement of the exact goal in the exact time frame. It's that you start asking yourself what must be true, and you're asking yourself that. I've got to do this, this, and this in order to get to that place. And so you're now on an intentional journey rather than aimlessly being bumped around this life by everyone else. And so the beauty of the goals is that it puts you in the direction and in the journey and gives you the energy to fight and push and scratch and claw towards it. Sometimes you come out above the goal and sometimes you come out below it, but every time you've moved in the right direction. And so that's just give yourself a little bit of permission to almost make it or to more than make it and still say, I hit the goal. Yeah. I, I remember this conversation I just had with James Clear on the Entree Leadership Podcast it's coming out soon. And he was talking about how we focus on the results so much, but what really matters is our identity and the habits we're forming and the discipline that's created as we try to get to that result. 
And so it's a, it was a great reminder for me as we all you know head towards our goals this year. And Jonathan, I want to walk alongside you metaphorically and send you our brand new Ramsey 2023 goal planner that Rachel Cruz, Dr. John Deloney, and I worked on that will help you set those goals, stay on track, help keep you accountable. But uh, we're, we're pumped for you. So hang on the line. Austin will pick up and we'll send you one of those goal plans.